Put your heart in it. Yes, sir.
Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. When we see the king come. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm alive and well when he comes back. That's how I'm looking forward to it. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's coming anytime. Yes. Are you looking for him every day? Every day. You know, you think of it every day. Lord, is this going to be the day when you're coming back? Praise God. Let's go. Let's do 306. Six, the old gospel ship. <coughs>
George, you got one? Uh, I will. I, I guess. <laughs>
on the Cletus. Praise God. Thank God for Brother Cletus. Yes. Thanks God. Just anoint him tonight. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. is ready for the word. Amen. Amen. Let us stand and go to the Lord and work for us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Our most gracious and our loving and divine and righteous Heavenly Father, as we approach the throne of grace, your word teaches us to come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain help in the time of need. And Father, truly tonight, I need your help here tonight. And God, I ask you, Lord, to take your word and let your word go forth yes. tonight. And let it accomplish that for God until you have sent it. And may, Lord, we prepare our heart for the reception of your word tonight. And we will not fail to give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Yes. Good to be here tonight. Amen. 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 How many feel the presence of the Lord? Amen. I've already felt it in you. Yes. God's in this place tonight. And God wants to bless us all. He ain't got one just for one. He got a blessing for us all. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He's got enough to go around. <coughs> Amen. He's not sparing either. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Sister Shirley. Amen. God's got enough for everybody. Ain't you glad? Yes. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Amen and amen and amen. I love Him with all my heart. Amen. I may not be a great preacher. There's one thing I do. I love the Lord. With all my heart. Amen, brother. With all my soul. I know you do. Might, and with all my strength, and I'm doing all that I know how to do to please Him. Above yes. Everything. And my heart desire is to walk closer to Him. Be more like Him each day. Yes. That my life will reveal Christ to a lost and dying world. Come on, because brother. we're living in a world out there that's lost and dying without God. It needs the Lord. Amen. You didn't have your Bibles. How many brought your Bibles with you? Amen. Amen. Turn to Matthew, the 24th chapter. We're going to start reading with the 38th verse. For as in the days that were before the flood, there were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Amen. And ye not, until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the meal, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch therefore. This is the key verse. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what was what was the third would, would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken through. Right, right. Broken up. Therefore be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man is coming. He's coming for those who are watching, that are praying. Mm -hmm. He's going to appear the second time without sin unto salvation. He's going to come and He's going to get and He's going to find a lot of people asleep like it was in the days of Noah. Amen. It's going to be like that when Christ comes. People are going to be doing the same thing uh, uh, now that they were doing then. Amen. They were married, they were given in marriage, and the Bible said, and you had not till the flood came and That's took right. them all away. The world is not looking for Christ to come. Amen. Brother, I'll tell you what, it suits me if he come tonight. Yes. I'll tell you what. Excuse me, I'm sorry. That's all right, brother. I, 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 got it, brother. I didn't mean to do that. It's all right. Amen. And I lost my dog. Oh, he's coming back. But he'll come back to me. Amen. As it was then, the way it's going to be when Jesus comes. Amen. He's coming, and he's going to catch a lot of people not ready. 
not watching, not praying, and not looking for Him, as it was then, as well, it's going to be when Jesus comes. But I thank God tonight that I've got my soul anchored in the Lord. And I've got my faith anchored not in Cletus, but in Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's got all power in heaven and earth. And He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we're able to ask and think. Anything that if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be done. Mm -hmm. The Lord will give us whatsoever we desire when we pray. If we'll come in faith, believe it, we'll receive it such as early because He's promised it. God's promised it to never leave us, Amen. never forsake Amen. us, to go with us all the way, even to the end of the world. What else would we want? To know that we've got a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And we need to take heed to the words that we've heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. I mean, we need to take heed to the Word of God because His Word is important to us as Christian people, as yes. children of God. We need to walk closer to Him than we ever have come before. Out. We need to be more like Him because He can come before morning. He can come and take us out of here before I get home. And we hope we don't have no promise right. tomorrow. That's right. Brother, we have our promise of a hope beyond this life. Thank God. And I'm ready for that day. And you, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. Amen. i got some more. I want to read in the third chapter of Colossians. Go ahead, come on. you got your Bibles. Turn with me to the third chapter of Colossians. Amen. Bless the Lord. We're going to start reading with the first verse. Listen to what the Word says. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above and not on things of the earth. Set your affections on things above and not on things of this earth. Mm -hmm. This earth is going to pass away and all that's in it is going to melt and fade away. But brother, if you uh, uh, anchored in the Word of God and you got the Word of God stamped on your heart, brother, you'll stand yes. in that evil day. Yes. Amen. 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 For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with Him in glory. How many want to be ready? Yes. Amen. Come on. <coughs> Here's some things that we need to do as Christian people. Mm -hmm. Amen. How many believe that? Yes, amen. Come on, brother. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, inward affection, evil, concupiscence, and covetous, which is idolatry. <coughs> For which things <coughs> say the wrath of God cometh upon the children of disobedient, in the which ye also walked sometime when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these. These some things we need to put off. You lay aside. Paul said, lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily beset us, and let us run the race with patience till we yes. come the other way. Here's some things we need to lay aside. Bless him, Lord. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, black <coughs> excuse me. Blasphemy, fear the communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Wherefore there is nothing, there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Mm -hmm. <coughs> put on, therefore, 
the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy and kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering. How many of us is long-suffering? Come on, brother. Good question. How many of us will bear long with someone when they Yes, long? hallelujah. Glory to God. Long-suffering. Christ is long-suffering toward us, for not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And Jesus said, except you repent, your law likewise perish. And sometimes we have to repent, as Brother Derek said, we have to repent daily. And then we have to keep our bodies under subjection to the Spirit of God. Keep this old body crucified with Christ. Amen. For Paul, Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. No longer I live, but Christ lives in me. Christ is a, a hope of glory. Amen. He's coming <coughs> to get his bride. How many is ready to go if he comes tonight? Come on. How many is ready to go Come on. if the Lord knocks at your heart? And you, you could be, it could be tonight. We don't know how Brother, uh, Brother Hines, when our time will come, but he wants us to watch. That's why I read that scripture, watch. Yep. Pray for him and hour you think not. The son, a man is coming. Amen. We need to watch. <coughs> we need to be looking for him. Expect him at any time. Because he can come before morning. Yep. And how many of us would be ready to go out to meet him? <coughs> Amen. Amen. We'll go out to meet him. Yep. How many has got all sufficient? In your vessel to go out to meet him. Come on, brother. Amen. Some of them, some people are all is, is running low, is run out of oil, and and they when when the bride group came, they, they they went in into the marriage. Those that were ready, those that had all in their vessel went in, but those who uh, uh, left left their oil out, they went to bottle our oil, and when they came back, they knocked at the door. He said, open, open unto us. And he said, he said, depart from me, ye that work iniquity, for I never knew you. It's going to be a sad time when the Lord comes and catches a lot of people not ready. Sister Shirley, there's going to be more people not ready than they are ready. Yes. I believe that. I believe because it was in the days of Noah, there were only eight souls saved during the flood. That's all right, ain't it? Yep. Amen. And as it was then, the Bible says, so shall it be yeah. in the coming of the Son of Man. There's very few people going to go in to the marriage supper of the Lamb. How many wants to go in and the, the marriage supper of the Lamb? Oh, Jesus. Amen. When Jesus comes. Glory to God, I do. Bride. He's going to come to Sister Shirley. He's going to serve us. He's going to serve his bride. And we are his bride. Thank God. Yes. Amen. They, we that are born again, and saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, we belong to God. We're not our own. Right. We've been bought with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, we're not ours to do what we want to do, but we're His to take for Him to take and do what He wants to do with us. How many wants God's will for your life? Yeah. Above everything. That's what yeah. I want. I want to walk in the light as He is in the light. So if I walk in the light as He is in the light, then we have... Fellowship one with another in the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses from all sin. Not part sin, but all sin. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I just want to be ready, don't you? Yes, I do, brother. I want to have, I want to have on the, my wedding garment. I don't want no spots on my garment. I want them to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. I want my... I, I, want, to be, I, want, to over, I want to overcome... By the word of my testimony, by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Because that's what's going to carry us through. Amen. It's the blood of Jesus Christ applied to our life. Amen. And I know that's been the short message. Well, that's what we're... It's not, it's not been a great message, but it's the word of God. Amen. And we all need to hear it. Yes, we do, we brother. We need to obey it. And it will do what the word says to do, whether we won't find ourselves being lacking in the kingdom of God. Yes. We won't find ourselves lacking in, in, in any oil in our vessel. We'll have our vessel filled with all, all, all our lamps trimmed, 
our lights burning and ready to go out to meet the Lord when He comes. Amen. Glory to God. Coming. Yes. Brother Hines is coming after you and me. Coming for those that are ready for Him. Amen. He's going to appear the second time without seeing the salvation. Brother George, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, me too, brother. It ain't going to be long. I, I know it ain't going to be long until the Lord comes and gets me and takes me home. Amen. I just want to see others make it. Yes. I got loved ones that I'm praying for and I want to see make it. Amen. Me too, brother. We need to pray. The Bible tells us to pray one for another, confess our faults one to another, and we may be healed. Pray one for another. Lift each other up. Yes. Encourage one another. Amen. And be a blessing and a help to someone along the way. Lend a helping hand when a helping hand's needed. When she sees someone is struggling, get on to undergird them and lift them up. That's what this thing's for all about. The Bible says where one member suffer, we all suffer. We all suffer. Right. right. When one member goes through a hardship, I mean, we all to take it to heart. I mean, we need to help bear that burden and lift them up. Amen. For God's able to keep them. Amen. And he's able to keep them from falling. Amen. Amen. Is anybody got anything you want to say before we change all this earth? Anybody got another song you want to say? If you have, feel free. Amen. Amen. We're here tonight to worship God. We ain't in no big hurry. Amen. Amen. All right. Come on. Amen. That's what we're here for. To obey the Lord. Amen. To be what God wants us to be. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good to be in the house of the Lord. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. Get this
Me too. And God has blessed us with talent on top of talent. Amen. How many loves your church family? Amen. Amen. I think we've got a good church family. Yeah. Yeah. You, you Amen. Know, brother, All them not you here. Look at big churches, and they, but, you know, you think, oh man, they got tons of people. But I've gone to some of them with friends or whatever, and they, they're like, I'm like, who is that? I don't know. They don't know half their people. No, they don't. They, they don't. They have so many people, they have to have two and three services, but they don't have the love that our church has for each other. Right. And I feel blessed. I just told Sandra last night, I was texting her, and I said, I'm so thankful to be home for my church. I miss my church. <laughs> is everybody's mind clear? I'm going to practice, my brother. <laughs> I didn't want to practice this, but I never had to get with Eric and Brother George at the same time without church going on. So. Practice as many as you want to. Redeem the time. They could use it. Thank you. 